my name is Sarah Sharman from the Emerald City Hoop Troop and today I'm here with another spin flag tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the corkscrew, which looks like this. It's very similar to the windmill, which is another move, um, but instead of coming up and down in the vertical plane with the windmill, we're gonna be coming forwards and back in the horizontal plane for the corkscrew. So let's go ahead and break this move down into its parts and then we'll put it all together and you'll have a new move. Uh, for this whole tutorial, the yellow flag will be in my right hand and the green flag will be in my left hand. These flags are from Spin Flag Boy. So let's go ahead and start with the right hand. So go ahead and drop your left-handed flag. Um, we'll just go with your right hand or with your dominant hand, um, whatever you prefer to do. So what we're going to do is leading with the weighted edge. You're gonna start with the thumb in front leading the way and your palm is gonna be flat towards the ground. So you're gonna come out from the outside of your body and just kind of swing the flag out and around your head. And as you go, you're gonna have a really high elbow. So coming in front, sweeping around and back out. And you're not really turning your hand at all. Um, the flag is actually going to make a turn. So when you're above your head, the weighted edge is then going to continue turning as you push to the outside, it's gonna kind of fold on top of itself. And then you're gonna kind of end up with a hand grip like this where the flag is on top. And as you keep going, it will, it'll kind of unravel. Um, it won't stick there. Um, but you want kind of that folds around your hand in order to complete the move. And that's because the weighted edge is circling back on itself. So as you go across and down, it's gonna swoop down in front once. So just kind of push it, let the weight pull it towards you and then push it back out. So push, let the weight come towards you, push back out. So this is all the corkscrew is with one hand. Um, so this is the right hand. And I'll go ahead and show you that in slow-mo in a couple different angles so you can see what's going on. Okay, now that you've learned the right hand, it's time to learn the left. And so this way, instead of pushing it over your head, like we did with our right hand, our dominant hand, you're gonna swing this one out. So you're gonna be leading with your thumb again, but instead of holding it down towards the ground, you're gonna kind of flip your hand up towards the sky. Um, so this is our starting position here. And as you push the flag out, it's gonna circle around and then you're gonna loop it down in front. So circle around, loop down towards you and back out. Down towards you, back out. 
and that is what your left hand or your non-dominant hand is going to do. Um, so the dominant hand goes over your head first and then out and down. The non-dominant hand goes away from you, over your head, down and back out. And I'll go ahead and do some slow-mo with the left hand as well so you can see what's going on. If you are a left-handed flagger, this might be opposite for you. You might be going um, the left hand towards yourself first and out. Whatever you think is most comfortable and you can definitely learn this move in both directions. But here's some slow-mo with the left hand. There's a couple different ways you can get into this move. I think the easiest way to learn it is to start with your dominant hand and then bring your non-dominant hand in to follow. This is much like a weave um, where one is leading the entire time and one is following. So let's go ahead and start with our dominant hands. I'm right-handed and I'm gonna use my yellow flag in my right hand. So I'm going into that normal pattern we already learned over the head, down in front and back out. And as you are coming over your head, that's your cue to bring in your non-dominant hand. So as I go up and over my head, I'm gonna bring my left flag in to follow. And you're just gonna repeat the normal pattern for your left hand that we already learned, um, by kind of waiting until you see that spot where you're gonna go over your head and then bringing the left leg in to follow. And then the key with this is to make sure you don't go up and back in front and behind your head. Instead, you're gonna be pushing out and then in towards each time. And that's just gonna create that horizontal plane instead of the vertical plane. So I'm gonna show you how to get into that again from another angle just so you can see. I have my right hand going and then as I come over my head I'm gonna bring the left hand in pushing out and then back into my body each time um, I'll go ahead and do a slow-mo of getting into that move as well as some slow-mo of just the move in general and a couple of different uh, angles so that hopefully you have a better idea of what's going on I hope this tutorial helps if you're interested in purchasing your own pair of spin flags, go check out Spin Flag Koi on Etsy, Instagram, or on Facebook. There are some links below um, in the video description. Um, that's where I get all my flags. They're wonderful. There's also a discount code back there if you like one.